Welcome to a new webinar of CVET Media. I have um, two guests uh, today, actually three, but uh, two visitors in this session. It's uh, Jacek. Um, and uh, what's the name of your colleague? We also have Pavel and Bruno. Yes. Straight yeah. from Brazil. Yeah, welcome, you three. You're uh, working with um, Spartes in Poland, right? Exactly. Yes, yes. Straight from Gdańsk. Hello, Martin. Thank you for having us here. Yeah, thanks for taking the time to share your newest technology with us. Um, how about you give us a 30-second uh, elevator pitch on who is Spartest and what are you doing? I know you have some slides later, but uh, yeah. just as an oh. intro, what are, and, and also maybe another 30 seconds, what are we going to do today? Okay, so uh, today we will talk briefly about uh, our newest app. Uh, chat for the service desk, which was born uh, as an app for our support team. Uh, so then we decided to mm, tell the world about it, and I hope that many other teams could benefit from it. So uh, as a lot of Spartas apps were developed uh, first for internal use, uh, the same goes uh, with chat. So as probably some of you heard, Spartas was born as a company that worked directly with Atlassian and born um, uh, with this, we decided to go with the apps as well. So Spartes is one of the very first vendors on the marketplace because of the apps that were created to uh, to work easier uh, internally. Yeah, cool. So we'll see an extension of Jira Service Desk and Jira as a chat application for website visitors, right? Exactly, because for now, uh, any solution that most of you, most of us uh, know, uh, are not integrated with Jira Service Desk. We tried those as well. Live chat, intercom. We will say a few words about it later. Now you can have these conversations linked with Jira Service Desk. So this is the right video. Also, if I'm using another chat tool and um, want to find out whether there's something that is better integrated into Jira and Jira Service Desk, right? Yes, I hope we will convince you as well. <laughs> yeah, okay. We, we're a um, strong intercom user today. So as you've named those, I'm pretty excited to look into that. Yeah. Um, and I totally feel your pain. Like, <laughs> it does uh, need an experience for yeah. your chat agents, for your support people that is as seamless as possible um, to provide a good support for customers. And we have this struggle as um, there can be communication within Jira Service Desk and there can be communication within Intercom. And syncing those is uh, painful. Yeah. Um, so I'm pretty excited on that. Uh, actually, personally, I'm, uh, I'm using this Intercom chat my, myself. So uh, without further ado, I would say um, this is your stage for your show. I will probably need to ask some um, dumb and maybe annoying questions, um, but uh, I'm very interested. Yes, exactly. So let's treat it not as a lecture, uh, but as a discussion. So whenever you feel you have the questions, and it goes for all of you, just type it uh, in the chat, just ask directly. We are here to ask anything, anytime, anywhere. <laughs> so let now, if you're watching this live um, on the right hand or left hand side, I, I don't know uh, what's on your screen. Um, there should be a chat. You can put it there. We'll monitor that every now and then and pick up your question and put it in the video. If you're seeing that as a recorded video, for example, on YouTube later, um, you can still put a comment down there. And uh, both Spartes and us will try to make sure that you get a appropriate answer, links with more information, whatever you need. Um, so please be interactive. Exactly. So uh, again, thank you very much, Martin, for, for this time, for this opportunity to, to be there. Let me share the screen, and uh, I will show you the slides that we prepared for today. So uh, chat for service desk, the story behind it, how it was created. Uh, first, a quick agenda. I will make a quick introduction of the company. Then we say a few words, why, why chat? Why do we need this? Why do we need it? Then part one, uh, our experience from testing existing solutions. Uh, then the problems that we are facing. Then why we uh, decided to go with our own one. Um, what was uh, the requirements? Uh, then we will show you how it works uh, live. And then we will show you and uh, discuss it, uh, what's next. 
So introduction, as I already said, Spartus is 150 people strong and still growing. It's divided into two organizations. It has five star support, thanks to the guys, thanks to the Bruno, thanks to the Pavel. It's well known from uh, the apps like TFS for Jira, still one of the very best selling add-ons on the marketplace, Agile Poker and Asset Tracker. And as I said, one of the first vendors in the marketplace. So uh, today with me, we have Bruno and Pavel, the guys from the support who um, have, the, uh, have the chance to uh, handle the customer uh, issues and requests daily. So uh, they feel the pain, they know the app, they use it daily. Uh, so go on, ask anything you, uh, you want because these guys uh, knows the answers. And I'm as a product marketing manager uh, of the app. So the use case. Uh, Today, uh, we see that a lot of people would like to have a chance to talk to the real person in real time. They don't like setting up an account, then they don't like... Uh, Which is a real pain with Jira, right? If you're um, a um, regular Jira service desk user, for customers, it's actually a pain because they have to set up an account before they can ask a question, which is... Yes, yes. setting up an account is another friction for makes customer land on uh, land on service desk portal and immediately up an email or anything like that because they don't want do not want to interact login first they would like to have immediate contact way of yeah. immediate contact that is I fully agree. um uh, just one organizational thing uh Jacek, maybe you there's a small uh icon on the bottom of your screen that says hide my sharing exactly. element maybe you can click it it's gonna make your screen a little bit prettier yeah, thanks. Thanks for that. It's it's done. So uh, I guess the, the Bruno said it to me uh, also today that uh, having this chat experience uh, actually make people uh, also register the account later, right, Bruno? Yeah, usually because, like, as you just said, uh, they can ask the question first and then later on figure out if they want to create the account, right? So like it's it's easier and uh, as you said before, it's seamless because. Then they like they first ask the question, and then of course like later on they can just like create the account using. Uh, Our test has already uh, created some value for customers, yeah. so they can register. Okay, yeah. let's move on. Yeah, exactly. So uh, first, um, since there was no app on the marketplace that we could use that had this um, Jira service desk integration, uh, we decided to go with the one that uh, have some some variation of it. So there was a, a, a there is an app on the marketplace that lets you integrate live chat easier. Uh, so we 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 we, uh, we tried this, uh, but we faced uh, first uh, issue. Actually, uh, our clients are based um, in many different countries. Uh, they work in very different time zones, um, most of the time very different than we do. So we can't just be there uh, most of the time live, right? So whenever they have a questions, some of us are sleeping. And with live chat, we had this issue that. Uh, there was no um, 24 based yeah, yeah. base support. So whenever the, the client left the page and we were logged in after some time, we couldn't have the conversation uh, with yeah. them, right? So, well, we could it, have, but they did not receive our response. So it yeah. was actually pointless. Yeah. yeah, there was no email notifications. Yeah, that's, so, a, that's a painful experience in Intercom as well. Like if people start a chat and you answer, they actually have to come back to the website to get the information when they don't leave their email address. It's uh, exactly they can... not very likely to happen. Let's see. How yeah, exactly. that, that's, that's, that, that's what we tried with, uh, with Intercom. Uh, it was better at first, I have to say it. But uh, the issue that, that our support team had is the first uh, the tab. Um, they had to constantly look at the browser tab and check it if there's any new conversations. And you know, many times you work with different tabs, with service desk, with other uh, things, and you don't look, uh, and you just uh, you, you don't just stare at the tab of intercom waiting for conversations. So they have to come back and refresh it and so on. And then we didn't like the spamming of emails and the structure of it, the templates. Uh, whenever clients uh, um, add an email, we got a, a, a tons of, of emails. And then the record, yeah. I can actually tell them tell more about it because I, my pains were actually here <laughs> with Intercom. So first of all, yeah, you, you actually, in the end, I ended up having two Jiras because usually I have one tab with Jira, constantly checking what's going on, if the client has responded, what's going on. And then I had another tab with Intercom. So instead of helping me out, I had to two tabs right now, two tabs to constantly track them. Okay, somebody contacted me on Intercom, somebody contacted me on Jira. And like, 
two of them at once. That's first thing. Second thing, whenever I had to make a report, so like for example, we our support is usually used for two purposes. First of all, we try to help our customers. And secondly, is to get feedback. So whenever we got feedback from customers, we had to pre-generate a second. Uh, second report, second type of report from Intercom. And funny thing is that reports from Intercom and reports from Jira are two completely different things. Completely different. They cannot be merged in any way. So if I was making a so micro uh, report. Well, we, could, we couldn't prepare that better. Um, it, you're describing a pain that we uh, have constantly. Uh, let me add to that. Like you have a customer who for so for whatever reason finds both channels so he knows that you're on service desk and he has account and he's also on your website and knows how to chat through intercom and now you have two him, him come to you through two channels um yeah. and then the problem is um or even you transfer them him or whatever so he puts a new message like after three days of nothing you you ask a question you didn't get an answer after three days, he gives you an answer, but he chooses the channel. So the other channel doesn't know that there's a new answer. So they may ask him, Mr. Customer, what about my question? And they said, I fucking answered already. How about you answer now? And they said, oh, wait a minute, you're right. Exactly. You exactly. Now I see it. And it's, it's a very embarrassing moment when you are unable to synchronize those channels. Okay, so I feel your pain. Uh, let's assume that other people who have uh, had some intercom uh, experience uh, feel the pain as well. Give us uh, more insights into the solution. Exactly. So, like you said, the, the, the real issues that after months of testing live chat and intercom, we saw that the issue is not live chat or intercom. The issue is that both of them are not synchronized with uh, Jira service desk. So. Uh, our support teams many times had this issue that they were talking to very same client on both channels and sometimes uh, the same client was talking to two different agents so he had to give context in each channel it was a lot of mess uh, so we didn't like it at all as uh, and as Pavel said the summary records were completely different so it was uh, useless so what we planned to provide as a better communication channel to customers turned out finally to be a really nightmare for both support and customers uh, in the end, so it, it wasn't the, the way we wanted to go. So we decided to uh, build our own uh, solution. So to do it, we decided to first list our needs. The first one was where we wanted the chat to be easy to deploy. We wanted to have it everywhere possible in the web. Website, documentation, which actually is based on Confluence, landing pages of the campaigns. Then uh, we wanted it to be, uh, of course, integrated with service desk. Pavel, would you like to say a few words? How this works? Yeah. Okay. First of all, yeah, easy. To, I'm going to focus a little bit on the previous one. Okay, easy to deploy is like really easy. Nothing to install, nothing. Just add a line of script and that's it. And it's that's integrated. Yeah, that was our first uh, first thing. Second thing, Jira service disintegration. And okay, basically, whenever I hear integration, I I'm already starting to think like some kind of widget that actually does not nothing but makes some kind of spam uh, notifications. Yeah, when we thought integration, we actually meant that whenever a client contacts us, it creates an issue out of it. And the whole communications go with issue. That was our biggest, biggest, biggest uh, like uh, demand from it. Secondly, um, the thing actually you just mentioned, you had the customers both on Intercom and on um, and on Jira service desk. So we wanted to have the, so this, this will not be actually integration, but making one source of truth for in terms of clients, we know who the client is actually. Exactly. So whenever he's from Intercom or whenever chat experience or from our Jira service, he's the same guy. So we can track his responses on both of them, yeah, seemingly. And uh, oh, yeah, okay. Like um, we mentioned before that uh, uh, the reports, yeah, the reports were different. So the best way would be so if on the new chat experience, we would also could could be used uh, the features of all service desk. So for example, the reports, the automation, uh, assignees, everything, everything, status, everything from service desk could be used in this chat as well. Yeah. So that was our uh, biggest. Yeah. So actually what we want to have like 
current experience. Yeah, Jacek, can you go? We have listed it uh, as well, but uh, to cover everything here, uh, we wanted to also have this possibility that every message in the conversation is actually a comment in the Jira service desk, right? Mm -hmm. So. Both customers yeah. and agents see the updated conversations with no delays and possibly to apply uh, Jira services features such as automation and, and responses, like you said. Then, no login required. It's very, very important. Perfect for me for that. <laughs> uh, Bruno, would you like to say two words? Yeah, sure. Like Because uh, the, the login, no, no login required in this case means they can just like open your like website, for example, and then just start a conversation without having to log in first. So they can actually chat anonymously, and then later on, if they want, they can just like create the account. Exactly. So, and, and why they will want to create the account is for basically chat history. So like they can just provide their email address for registering on the service desk. And then after that, of course, they can uh, log into their account via this uh, chat widget in order to see the chat history. So this is why it's, uh, it's also important. Then agents' uh, availability, uh, we wanted to um, yeah. be sure that customers will be notified if any agent is online, that agents can select uh, online, offline hours by their needs. And if no agents is online, clients will be notified that the inquiries will be handed when agents will be back. Right, Babo? Yeah. yeah, but they can still yeah. uh, say something. Like It doesn't mean that yeah. because offline that uh, they will not be able to contact us exactly. it's just that like it will they will see like a message saying like we're offline right now but you can still like contact us and we'll get back to you as soon as possible right but we have this so, issue with live chat i guess right that if we had, we had this issue previously when clients were seeing a chat well it wasn't a chat so they engaged us with false like feeling that oh i will be responded immediately why while we were offline we could not be online back then so from client's perspective he was actually angry because he engaged us and did not receive an answer within an hour yeah so we needed some means of showing client hey we're not here we will be you can still contact us but right now we're not here yeah exactly yeah then uh notification icon on jira service desk for agent uh, so uh, the icon on the board uh, Bruno, would you like to cover it? Sure, um, because like there's like a, a notification icon for us, for the, the service desk, for the agent. And uh, we can see that uh, like this icon is updated in real time, so we don't miss any incoming messages. So let's say that I have this ticket open on service desk. I can actually see messages coming in, which means comments getting added to the issue without having to even refresh the page, because it, it's real. it's really real time. Yeah, yeah, and the audio notification stuff. And oh, yeah, yeah, there's also an audio notification. Guys, um, let's try to speed this up a little because I assume that those people watching this, they yeah. will want to see the interface. Uh, I understand that this um, uh, these were your needs. Uh, yeah. Let's see what you what you did. Okay, so I will come back to this point in a few seconds. Now, Pavel, uh, can you do a demo? Yeah, sure, I can do a demo. Actually, I can make a demo for you on our live production. So look, Martin, can you go to our website, spartis.com? Yeah, sure. Hold on, let me share my screen. No problem. So, um, so it's spartis.com, right? Yeah, this, and um, just to be sure, this is not staged. I'm, oh. uh, I, we didn't do that, so I don't know what's going to happen. How uh, can we so help you? Click, click yeah. this message to contact us. Uh, that would now be, I would incline to click that. Do you want me to click it? Yeah, sure. Click. Okay. Wait, you're a customer. You would like to contact us. What you would like to do? How we can help you? So type your message. Uh, I have heard I can replace intercom. Oh. OK. Let me check right now. Oh my God! I can see your ticket already. So look, I'm going to share my screen with you right Hold now. Hold on. Let me. Uh, I need to um, uh, put it in. It did. Um, did I do that? Oh, I think I just scrolled down a little. Or did the chat do that for me? Um, uh, okay. No, 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 no. Scroll okay, so, okay. So let's go back here. Stop okay. Sharing. And right now, I can show you what's the perspective of an agent. Actually, whenever you create it, you created a chat immediately, it created us a support ticket immediately. 
I can see that the report is anonymous chat user for now because you haven't registered yet. Mm -hmm. I can see that you are on online. You haven't solved my response yet. Look, I'm going to type my response. Okay, and then how I'm going to do this. Uh, so you added the the comment because I, I gave a second line, right? How am I going to do this? Yep, I'm going to do this. It automatically created issue out of this. This yeah. chat we have right now is automatically right now. It's a ticket on our Jira board. So from my perspective, it's a ticket. Yeah, cool. So you probably is uh, you are able, Martin, to see that Pavel is already typing stuff, something. Yeah, right? let so me uh, let me show my screen again, and then ah uh, no, this this translate uh, doesn't look good. Okay, so so we start here. I well, you could not learn better. Yeah. Okay, now I, you share this, and you should see my response immediately. Yeah. I did. Better even. Look, if I start typing. Oh, yeah, I see it. I am typing right now. On the so you can see that I'm engaged as an agent. Yeah. And you can see my response to me. Oh, look, I haven't refreshed the page. I can see that you have responded. That's awesome. And you can now, right now, okay, you're engaged. You can right now even uh, register automatically there in the chat. I don't know what you're seeing right now because I just see this. Do you want me to do that? <laughs> if you would like to, sure. Sure, yeah. I would like to. Oh, okay. Ah, it's in line. Easy. Yeah. So, register. Yeah, done. What is the, the link icon up here? Ah, it gives me a link to your service desk. Look, oh man, um, I can see I'm see that you might in Zybert, and immediately you don't uh, mind. Uh, <laughs> I, I need to to make people see that as well. Okay, here we see your screen again. So and, okay, yeah. yeah, now I'm not anonymous anymore. Yeah, you're not anonymous. Still online. You see my ah, yes. I like that. That's <laughs> cool. You you have immediately right. You you're just using it, yeah. I yeah. know what you said. I um, know. Who, uh, I so... even know where you started actually, mm -hmm. and now I know where you're at right now. So this is important for us because why? First of all, we uh, injected this chat into three places. First of all, it's on our landing page. It's on our documentation. So if somebody, we know that if somebody contacts us from here, okay, it's about sales probably. If he's contacting from our documentation, then it's technical support. If he's on our, uh, ah, yeah, the third place is of course our service desk portal. Yeah, because if you go to our service desk portal, actually you'll see the chat as well. So, okay, so many times questions are, for example, if I, I'm going to stop sh screen sharing for a moment. So okay, most of the time question like, can I share my files? Yes, you can share your files. Can I make screenshot? Can I make you use emoticons? Yes, everything is there actually. All live chat experience is there. That's first thing. Yeah. Secondly, um, uh, as you can see, Bruno, Bruno, can you go offline for a second? You know, yeah. uh, in the in the agent. Yeah, yeah. Because you are seeing this on our live production. It's not uh, uh, testing issues. It's just production. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, refresh the page now. Spartus.com. Oh, okay, hold on. I need to to share my screen again. No problem. It's, it's a big back big back and forth uh, here. So here we go. Um, refresh the page. Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. Now there's an email icon. Yep. How can we help you? We are offline now. Leave us a message, and we will get back to you. Register, yeah. login, leave message. And you have to, first of all, register yeah. a login. We can change this behavior, pretending that we are still online, but this forces clients to log in or register so we know who they are. Yeah. And they yeah. do not post, um, like, uh, like that they will be responded immediately. And I like if that you, a lot. Yeah. Uh, this, of course, if you're logged in, it will register. You, everything will still be there. Okay, we now I can sh I will share my screen again to you if I will be able. Okay, screen share. Uh. So again, on this uh, on this uh, view, I can see you, as you can see here. Here I can specify when I go online. 
usually I'm online until 70 o'clock in UTC 2 plus 2. Yeah, mm -hmm. I go online. And as you can see, I agents online, Father Mazur. Good or not? Can you go online? Sure. Online. Done, okay. Pablo. Yeah, I heard you. And you can see two agents are online. And I can even, if I see uh, as a <clears throat> uh, project admin, I can even set up somebody offline if I see fit. Yeah. So if I, for example, see Bruno has already gone home, I can click here and make him offline. But I'll do this because I'm going to be offline in a second. <laughs> Not Bruno. So, so yeah, that's actually it. Uh, look, there is an another thing. Okay, in terms of. Um, reports most of the time you would like to see what kind of issues are from chat what kind of are from portal what kind of are from email uh, there is a separate channel for this called chat there is even request type there is even labels created so you can really really like put them all into reports you can integrate it from from the perspective of a client this is a chat and from the perspective of a, a services agent this is just issue so all of the power of Jira service desk are here at your fingertips actually or the uh, all the statuses all the automation everything is here like from your perspective you have power of service desk from client he has the ease of use of chat so it's a win-win situation can you so, show again the um how the, the the agent is notified that there is a live chat that he needs to uh react to right now there is no chat um, yeah okay so do you want me to re re-engage Sure. So, I again, I have another question. Look, you see? I don't, I don't see it yet. I um, I think the the um, viewers couldn't see my screen, but um, now you can share your screen again and show us. I'm sharing my screen constantly. Ah, okay. So there's a new icon and it, it says one, yeah. so I know there's a chat. Yeah, and if I click on it, it will immediately take me to this issue. Immediately. Okay. It takes some time because uh, my Wi Fi. Like speaking. 15, then I get a list or one by one, or how is it working? If you register, you'll see all of them. So we see two of them actually because you have engaged once and now second one. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I think that what Martin asked is whenever we have. For example, 15 different clients engaging us. How does it look in services, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like uh, when I would look in Intercom right now, we would probably have 25 uh, conversations, as they are called there. So one is a small number. <laughs> no, 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 no. Those are new ones. And like when they are engaged, it's done. It's yeah, done. If but he, how he, about you have five? that you didn't engage with yet? There will be five here. And okay. that's it. What happens if I click? Uh, we, you will see Q on the uh, service. I'm not like so eager to click there right now, uh, because then it will show probably multiple others. Uh, but yeah. basically, look, if the if from the moment when clients starts a conversation, you're having service this ticket. So we can group them, aggregate however you would like to. You have full power over it. Actually, you know, right now you're stripping off yourself from the old thinking. Because, oh my God, in Intercom I had this and this grouping. No, man, you have like you know, queues. You have queues. Look, if you have Jira software, you can even make boards. Actually, we have boards. We <laughs> we're using boards to uh, handle our support. So we have boards and we actually see columns and chat here, here, here. And we have colors for different chat. Um, for chat issues, everything is actually in there. So, like from your perspective, you're handling Jira Service Desk project. That's it. You're not thinking chat. You're not thinking chat. You're thinking Service Desk right now. Pablo, thank you, thank you for that. We are running out of time, and I would like to cover just three things at the yeah. end. Okay. So, uh, having this, uh, uh, as you can see, I hope that, that you like the app, but that's not uh, all. Uh, after launching the app, we faced the issues that a lot of our clients had uh, big Jira instances, but only few uh, Jira service desk agents, and they didn't like the pricing. So, uh, and Atlas and Marketplace weren't supporting uh, any other approach than uh, selling via uh, Jira instance. So we decided to introduce per agent pricing by ourselves. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, so, so to get a price per agent, not per uh, per um, Jira uh, users. You just have to reach 
uh, the partner uh, or uh, us, and we will uh, generate the promo code for you. It's based so on what is the price per agent? Uh, I will share the link with you in a second uh, because it really depends from the from the agents. Uh, let me go uh, on the chat. Uh, actually, Bruno, can you can you post it? Uh, because Bruno has access to chat, so Bruno will share it in the chat in a second. Uh, yeah, okay. Another thing is uh, it's actually ready on our beta um, uh, environment right now is AI. Uh, we are experimenting with uh, IBM Watson. Uh, we had these issues with customers uh, that they would like to have some uh, bot uh, talking to the client at first. For example, you have a big company and you would like to filter out clients first before uh, any live agent would come or you would like to have some kind of conversation with agents are offline. Uh, and we have this uh, on our beta. Uh, I can show you quickly how it works. Okay, Bruno shared uh, the, 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 the link, oh, but you can do it on, on here, okay, on the chat. Yeah. So yeah, let me... I see it, let me, let me share my screen real quick again. Yeah. So, so that viewers can see it as well. Oh, I'm gonna increase the size a little. So one agent is, oh, only ten dollars? Yes. How can that be? You have to host the whole stuff. This is Who really inexpensive. Right? Wait, 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 wait. Who has to host it? Uh, I think I, I thought you hosted. No, it's, it's, you ah, host it hosted on Jira server. Ah, that's even better. So yes. okay, so that, that's it. Ah, okay. So okay, before we um, let let's uh, talk about prices and then a little bit yeah. more about deployments. I had a misunderstanding here. So it's something between ten dollars for one to three agents, and then up to uh, sixteen thousand for two hundred fifty agents. Well, rarely, the alternative <laughs> is um, that you simply buy the app through the Elastic Marketplace, right? I've yeah. looked that up. It's available for Jira Service Desk Server, and yeah. you can buy it from a hundred dollars through to eight thousand dollars. Here, is that the same thing? The lower price takes uh, precedence. So, if you, for example, have two hundred and fifty uh, two hundred fifty users, but you have only uh, five agents, then you would pay five hundred seventy dollars. But yeah, yeah. Depending on what, so I can yeah. choose as a customer which whichever is better for me. I will yeah. I will yeah. choose right. Yeah, exactly. Either this price or the pay agent pricing. Yeah, that's yeah. very yeah. friendly of you to that's to do that this way. Friendly. Well, so. basically, if you have Jira uh, data center, then the 16,500 16, five hundred will not be so high. <laughs> If you have data center, oh, right? I don't think that sixteen hundred five hundred um, uh, dollars is very high. Um, you don't want to know what we are paying for Intercom to get today. <laughs> so, um, well, you uh, might you will know how much you will might pay for ours. So we, <laughs> we can get great for it. No, you can, okay. okay. Yeah. So um, I actually um, uh, do like the product a lot. Uh, let's talk a little bit about deployment because I okay. made some assumption that were wrong. I thought, as this is a cloud service on the web, nope. you would be hosting that. But it's yeah. actually a a plugin, an app that will go into my Jira. Yeah. I will. The only requisite is that my Jira is available on the internet, and then I can chat away, right? Okay. What you what's what's going on actually in here? Look, Luis Ternado. This is an app. This is an app installed into your Jira. Mm -hmm. This web app is uh, having an endpoint which uh, gives you JavaScript. Which can be later on injected to any website. So whenever somebody is like browsing through your website, it's automatically pulling this JavaScript from your Jira and rendering the chat on the site. That's it. That's okay, it. but my Jira has to be in the public internet, right? Yeah, you can have separate Jira, but or, yeah. or have this one just endpoint, one endpoint available basically. Yeah, and yeah. a few points were probably because we're using web sockets. So just few probably ports opened up uh, on a constant, yeah. That's All a lot. big upside. Like everyone in the EU who is uh, deeply engaged into GDPR mm -hmm. should be loving that. Yeah, because then you don't have to worry about intercom handling the data. Yeah. You have to, in intercom you is have an American service. They'll they'll give shit about your data. It's uh, I I, yeah. I know it's, it's not it's not literally true. They have signed all the 
um, model yeah, but of the process with us and so on. So on, a, on a simple legal base, um, uh, this is all good to use. At the same time, um, what we all experience is that those American companies don't take privacy as seriously as a lot of European companies do or have to do. Um, so being able to host that chat service yourself is mm -hmm. definitely a big upside. So, and another thing, like I don't know, uh, I know that some data cannot be even hosted in some countries. They cannot leak outside of the borders of the country. And right now, you are the processor of the data out of the customers, and it's always in the place you would like it to be. So, if customer comes to you, creates an account, and puts puts some personal data, only it's only in your Jira, nowhere else. There is nowhere, no, no clouds running somewhere there in the unknown places that are storing this data. No. You have full power. You are the processor. And you Will you allow me to give you some feedback on the on the products, like uh, suggestions? Yeah, um, so um, two suggestions that I have is um, the registration. Um, clicking a link that says registration is a daunting thing. What actually opens is only a two-line inline thing. So I was very surprised positively that the registration was only like putting in my name and my email address. Mm -hmm. If that is so simple, put it in the chat window directly. This is actually, uh, you may look how Intercom does that. They do it exactly the same way. They say, uh, Mr. Customer, why don't you give us your email address? And you mm -hmm. can type in the email address directly into the chat and it will then be populated. It'll drive conversions from anonymous users to registered users dramatically, I assume. Um, second feedback from seeing that is I registered, but then the second chat, I was again an anonymous user. So there's maybe some some tweaks that you could do by giving me a cookie so that uh, actually at once I'll be recognized everywhere else. Actually, we are doing this. There is a cookie. There is a cache as long as many, many caches. So I don't know if you're using the same browser or anything. Maybe uh, okay. We would have to. Okay. However, um, um, uh, like from a simple uh, feedback, um, I was when I saw it first, I, th I thought, oh, this is really slick. Like the the chat window really looks like a professional um, chat agent uh, mm -hmm. interface. So that that was uh, that's uh, that's really cool. Also, mm -hmm. like the experience from the customer side um, is pretty natural. Something that I love in Intercom um, is the ability to switch between chat and email. Um, I can assume that this could be possible in Jira Services as well. So because Jira Services can send emails. The uh, question is, how do you handle that? Like, how do you know, oh, this will go in chat, this will go in email. And then you also have the, the option that, it could be in chat, but people don't see it. And then you want to send an email with this content later because people didn't see it. OK, there is, a, there is a, uh, like after some time, there is send one bulk email with the conversation you had with the agent. Yeah, But as well, there is a ticket created. So you receive this notification about the ticket when you have last comment. So you can just reply to the comment, and that's it. But this is a regular Jira service, this ticket. You have, like, Again, you're still thinking chat. This is not chat, basically, uh, beneath there. Yeah? There, is, there is chat experience. But beneath it, there is a Jira service this issue. So mm -hmm. email notifications are really slick. That's the first thing. And they work. They work very, very well. Yeah, yeah I like that. Um, I like the pricing. I like that you offer customers to choose between a per agent and the normal server licensing. Uh, do you plan to offer that for uh, Jira Services Cloud as well? Is that possible? Oh, uh, uh, okay. Look, right now we're thinking about it. This is like a serious undertaking for cloud. Mm -hmm. And basically, for cloud, okay, okay. You said yourself, oh, this is nice because it can be hosted on server. Yeah, and that was our goal. Basically, that was our goal. For cloud, there are many, many other solutions. And um, okay, we're thinking about it. It's yeah. still. It being debated because there are many many avenues in which we can go right now. Well, Yatsik mentioned one with the the what's on the AI, but actually we will be with the app uh, on the summit at Barcelona. So please uh, feel free to come and talk to us. And 
uh, we are uh, very driven by feedback. So if we will hear from uh, customers that they would like to have a cloud version, it will be definitely on our roadmap. So uh, that's how it, how it is. It's just a few months old, the app, and now we are very looking for feedback and uh, we are trying to get users uh, to finally uh, see this and use it in action. So please feel free to, to give us feedback, feel free to give us demands and anything, uh, feature requests, or what, you, what, what would you like to see? Because that's how actually we are working. We are like feedback driven. Yeah, we'll definitely kick the tires. Um, my last question for you would be, if I'm seeing this video and I want to try that out, I obviously can download the app from the Atlassian Marketplace into my Jira Service Guest server. And then, uh, how does the how does it work? Like, do I have to configure something? Um, yeah. Okay. Look. Uh, basically, if you go to Jira service, uh, Jira ad admin section, you will get a link. Link of um, service desk or project setting as well. You will get a link with a script. Like in Intercom, you had a script which you have to inject into your website. Yeah. The same kind of a script will be out there as well, and you just inject into your uh, website whatever you would like to have. And it's there. It's all automatically working. Yeah. It'll have the basic native CSSs, um, which is right now you see in our website, which later on you can, of course, change by your own, um, which you know, cascading style sheets. And that's it. Actually, integrating it is like, like that. Besides, we have pretty extensive documentation, uh, which we can show you as well. Well, actually, we can send the link. Okay, in the Jira pricing, it's our actual Jira pricing per service desk agent is also on uh, our documentation. So actually, just start there, getting started, and you'll see you'll see immediately how to do it. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Thank so you guys for showing that to me. Um, uh, normally, I'm I'm very interested in making this a interesting session for our customers, but today it also was a very interesting uh, session for me. Um, I didn't know your product yet. I nothing was staged here. Everything worked live. That's also uh, big props to your team for uh, making that work live without preparations. Um, I hope that if you have been watching this, um, you've enjoyed it. And uh, as you've seen in the video, um, Spartest.com is uh, where you can contact the manufacturer directly. You can also come to Seabed Media uh, to us and ask us, um, or also procure to us if you want that. Um, I'm pretty excited that this, um, and I think we can say Intercom-like experience is coming to, to Atlassian. Intercom is val a company valued, I think, $1.3 three billion dollars like it's a very uh, successful company used by um, um, a lot of other companies on their websites um, and if you're one of these websites or if you're thinking of deploying chat as a measure of a better a faster and more human-like support um, this is definitely an app that you want to check out yeah, uh, Pavel, uh, Jacek, uh, Bruno, thank you so much for your time. Um, any last words that you want to share? Uh, yes, uh, thank you, Martin, uh, for having us here again. You're an awesome host. Thank you, Zybert Media, for this opportunity. And uh, OK, so uh, we are ready to make a demo for you, for your uh, for clients. So please feel free to contact uh, Martin and his company. And uh, then we can schedule a demo for uh, your, your internal needs uh, to show you how it works. So. Uh, feel free to engage, and we are very open to talk and discuss anything, anytime. Thank you. Also, thank you. Thank you. Also, have a okay. wonderful, wonderful day. Yeah. <laughs> bye, bye bye. See ya. Bye.